Welcome to footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook, and welcome to our football construction site as we build a team through the NFL Draft. You always hear others say that this particular draft is weak or wait until next year to take this particular position or the NFL draft is an inexact science, but we at Football Game Plan believe that all three of those statements are huge myths and we're here to show you why as we go through seven rounds of the NFL draft and pick players to make each NFL team better. But before we get started, let's take a look at the mock draft rules. You have to remember that the selections that you see in this mock draft will be based off of Football game plan scouting player rankings, which you can find on our website at youtube.com slash football game plan or football game plan.com slash FBGP scouting. They're also based off what I would do as the general manager, not what I think they'll do, not what they have done or what they will do, but what I would do if I were the GM and also what I believe are the team needs. So not what other people may think the team needs are. If I think they need a quarterback, then I'm gonna take a quarterback. That's how it's gonna go for this mock draft. So it's time to put on my GM hat and let's get started in building up the NFL. The Eagles really need some help at the cornerback position and in this mock draft, they land football game plan scouting's number two overall cornerback prospect in Jordan Lewis out of Michigan. A technically sound corner, Lewis understands where he is on the field and also has terrific ball skills to either make a play on the ball or come away with the interception. Bolstering the offensive talent with Jamal Williams out of BYU. Williams has terrific vision and footwork, and I think he's underrated in what he can do as a receiver as well. I like his durability and the physical running style, I think will be greatly appreciated in the city of brotherly love. In round three, I want to add depth along the defensive line with Stevie Tua Kolovatu out of USC. I think people miscast him as just a gap clogging nose tackle, but I like his quickness off the ball to collapse the pocket and also the awareness to play the run on the way to the quarterback really well. Staying on the defensive line with Terrell Basham out of Ohio, I like his upside as a pass rusher, but his immediate impact, I believe, is in the run defense department. He's coming off a very strong week of work at the Senior Bowl. With their second, fourth round pick, I added some juice to the receiving core with Trent Taylor of Louisiana Tech. His teammate Carlos Henderson gets a lot of the buzz, but Taylor was equally as dangerous and gives the Eagles a strong slot receiver that's a legit threat. Dante Blackman has outstanding ball skills. The Kennesaw State corner is excellent in off coverage where he can read, react, plant, and accelerate to the football, and nine times out of ten, he'll pick it off. Keep an eye on Chris Mulumba Shamanga out of Maine. He's an inside linebacker prospect that can rush the passer and also be trusted in coverage. He's a top CFL draft prospect as well, so keep an eye on that moving forward. He may even go to the CFL, but I think his potential as an NFL inside linebacker is tremendous. And finally, adding a safety linebacker hybrid and Nico Marley out of Tulane. Don't let the size fool you. Marley was a four-year starter for the Green Wave and was a defensive leader. He was great versus the run, but obviously as an NFL player, he'll be better served as a nickelbacker pseudo-strong safety where I believe he'll excel. So that's a wrap for this edition of Building Through the Draft. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. And if you want to watch our other NFL team seven-round mock drafts, and you already should, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash football game plan where you can catch all of our FBGP scouting prospect ranking videos. Also, subscribe to Football Game Plan Podcast on iTunes.